are back in Python, specifically in uh, Python list and dictionaries, list and dictionaries. Um, if I remember correctly, it's going to be using array list and other sorts of lists. So uh, I'll be resetting the code as we go. So the list zoo animal has three items. Check them out on line one. Go ahead and add a fourth. Just enter the name of the string animal as string. So uh, we're just going to add another animal to our array. And since I now have three cats, why don't we do cat? Not that there's any house cats at the zoo, though. But uh, write a statement that prints the result, adding the second and fourth items to the list. All right, so uh, just a reminder, array lists start at zero. So the second item would be the first index. So we want to print the numbers one plus and the fourth item, which is number three. There we go. Adding the numbers one and three. And this is actually adding th together. Probably because we're not uh, declaring it a string. But yeah. So write an assignment statement that will replace item that currently holds to the value of tiger. So what we want to do here is say tiger is the third index value. So we're going to say zoo animals, similar to the hyena, actually identical to the hyena, is equal to, and again, we'll just do cat because it's the tiger, general cat. So we're just overriding the third index value so that now it's now cat. All right. On lines 5, 6, and 7, append three more items to the suitcase list. So, uh, suitcase.append. And append is basically just adds on a new value to the end of the list. So if there's three three values, it'd be the fourth one. So, uh, suitcase.append. And uh, we are going to put shorts. We'll just copy this three items right and shorts shirts and panties I don't know why panties alright then list the length equal to the length of the suitcase so list dot length is equal to so apparently the suitcase is four um, there's probably a method to call that yeah lend that list name okay so they wants us to do it like this, len. So we're calling the len method, which is the better way to do it, because our suitcase length may actually change as we append new items to it. So there are items. All right, on line four, create a list called middle containing only two middle items from the case. So. Sorry about that, guys. I had a quick phone call that came in. Uh, let's see here. All right, so on line four, create a list containing only the two middle items from the suitcase. So the first and second items are on one. So this starts here and ends right before that, not including it. So what we want to do is we want to start on the third item, which is the second index value, and go up to five. And because we don't want, then for this one, the last two items, we want, so one, two, three, four, five, all right, there's six items, so we'll do six, and then we'll start at five, at, or at four, rather, four to six, I think that's right. Looks like your middle slice. All right, so let's look at one to three. Oh, so it's passport laptop student instead of passport laptop. So we actually need to go two to four because we want two and three, but not 
four, and then we want for the last slice the fourth and fifth. Index four and five are right here and here, so we need to go six, and that'll get four and five. So now we're good. All right, uh, so dog. Selling the dog slice of animals from index three up and tail, but not including index six. So we need to get, we're gonna break up this string. And we need the fourth through the sixth character. So if you remember, four to seven, so that four, five, six, that's dog. And we also want from the seventh character to the end. animals and we want to start oops, at seven colon and that should go to the end got ogf instead of dog so one two three so we start oh these are index variables so make sure you do this correctly got drog instead of frog oh i did the same thing here uh there you go so Count them as index variables, not numbers like I did. All right, so use the dot index item function to find the value of duck. All right, so let's see here. How do they use it? So we're going to say animals dot index, and then we're going to search for the string duck. And then what else does it want us to do? So I'm going to resolve a variable called duck index. Then dot insert the string cobra at that index. And then we'll say duck underscore index. Equals animals dot Assign the result to a variable called duck index. All right. All right, and then we're going to say animals dot insert. And then we want to put duck underscore index, comma, and then the value of cobra. And I believe that's what they wanted. I think I'm declaring that correctly. First off, there's Cobra, and let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. So, we have Cobra now. All right, so write a statement in the indented for loop that prevents, uh, that pr prints a number equal to two times that number for every list item. For the number in my list, print my list my underscore list so we want to print the list of the current index value times two well, that should be it okay if code looks a bit off check the hint if you need help i is not defined okay so uh my mistake there we go what list index out of what am i doing wrong here for number in my list print my list For variable in list name, list index out of range. So, let's see here. Let's look at the hint. All right, I'm not sure what's going on here because when we do a for loop with the my list, it should automatically stop before it gets out of range. So let's, let's, uh, this is A to 14. Let's take a look real quick, see what's going on here. All right, let's look at the, uh, what was the name of it? It was Python, uh, for one and all, for one and all. All right.
Okay, so apparently we can just call the number because it's already parsing it. So we don't actually need, it's saying for the value in this instead of for int i. So this should work just fine. Okay, that makes sense. I was thinking this was like an, uh, a random, I was thinking more of a uh, int i and then it's a random number, but the number is actually a value in the array. So just remember that the for loop when you do it like this, it already has a number in the array. And that's how to think of it. All right, so we're going to write a for loop. And we're going to say that iterates over start list for i in start underscore list. What do we want it to do? Pen each number squared to square list. And we will say square unders underscore list dot append. And then we are going to put i, and we want to square it. And then sort square list. All right, do they tell us how to sort? Note that's true. Uh, let's see if we, we probably, we probably could just do this one time. So there you go. So. It sorts it, so 1 is 1, 2 is 4, 3 is 9, 4 is 16, and 5 is 25. Cool. All right, so print the values stored under the sloth and Burmese Python keys. All right, so uh, we are basically just going to do it like this. So print residence. And then uh, these are basically, think of them as like accounts and passwords. So the password in this case is going to be sloth. And it will give us, it will give us our number value, our account, I guess. Our, if you want to think of it that way, like doors and keys is kind of how I think of it. And that should be good. So we get we get Puffin 104, 105, 106. All right. Add at least three more key value pairs to the menu variable. So Chicken Alfredo is 1450. So I, I guess we can go with the uh, the menu theme. And so we're gonna say menu, and we want to what do we want? Mac and cheese sounds good. And we're going to set that equal to 9.99. And then we're going to say menu. How about fries? And we'll get those are a little bit cheaper. So we'll do uh, 4.99 appetizer. And then we'll do menu. And uh, how about some dessert? Sunday. Is that useful Sunday? I think that's how you spell Sunday. And we'll do that 6.99. It's a nice Sunday. And should be good to go. So there are our, our keys and then our value. All right, so delete sloth and bangled items from zoo animals using Dell. So we want to delete the items from zoo underscore animals and the key name. So is sloth. And then delete again from zoo animals via the key name. And that is bangle tiger and set the value associated with rock hipper penguin to anything but arctic exhibit and then we're going to say um, zoo animals and then for rock hopper is it rock yeah rock hopper penguin and we're going to set this to a uh, new value and that should be good so we have uh, you see our new value there and we deleted two as well 
Uh, now we just want to remove dagger from the list of items stored in backpack. So, um, let's see how they, they want us to use remove item. So, backpack.remove dagger. So, a couple different ways to change things and, and the arrays and the keys and the values and all this sort of stuff. So, all right, let's add a key to inv inventory. So let's add a key called pocket. And pocket's going to have a value of seashell. It's also going to have a value of strange berry. So we're kind of just uh, using an array list with an array list to a degree if you want to look at it like that. That's kind of how I think of it. Uh, lint. All right, so we've added this new pocket with items. And we want to sort the items list under backpack.key. So So this is how they sort right here. So you do the same thing. We're going to say, look, for our new pocket item, we need you to sort that one only. Dot sort. So there's that. And then remove dagger from the list of items stored in the backpack key. And then we'll say uh, inventory backpack. And then we'll say dot remove dagger. It's probably case sensitive, so make sure. That, and then add 50 to the number stored under the gold key. And then we'll say uh, inventory gold equals, let's see if we can do it like this. I'm not sure we can. Inventory gold plus 50. I think I might just have to rewrite it, but let's see what's going on here. Did you remember to sort the list inventory backpack? Oh, was it backpack we were supposed to sort? There we go. So apparently we can do it like that. You could also just rewrite it to 550 in itself. This is probably the better way to do it so that you don't so if you make any changes later on, uh, you don't have to go back and edit your code. Um, so Python's lists and dictionaries, something to mess around with. Um, let's see what we're doing next. It's called a day at the supermarket. It looks like we'll be using some more for loops and lists and dictionaries and all that sort of stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next Python video. And if I remember correctly, we are all caught up. Yeah, so I'm back to where I was before I started this course for my Python class. So we're going to get back into it. Uh, we're about a third of the way through. And at the end of it, we're going to start making our Py uh, Python game using uh, Pygame. So I'll see you guys next video. <laughs>